what we so what we do is with aubergine oil, uh, salt and pepper. Uh, you can even not even do that. Indian would know that you do it straight on a fire. Yeah, and then very easy to take off the skin and cut it open and take off the uh, take off the uh, seeds. Yeah, but it gives it a really nice charred, smoky flavor. Or you can do a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, like you just mentioned over here, and put it in the oven. Yeah, and then you just let it roast it into the nice soft. The skin just peels off. And then you take out the seeds and you mash up the top of the uh, and we're, everyone's gonna get all of this to taste, so yeah. So that's it. So you have that's your mixture that's ready. Very similar to a baba ganoush. Think of a dish. We try to think of uh, textures. We try to think of flavors. So it's, we try to think of all of those things when we put dishes together. So, you know, it's always nice to have that little bit of crunch, although you do have a crunch from the bread. It's just very different when you bite into a nice crunchy chicken. Yeah, it's a baguette. Yeah, and I brush it with a little bit of garlic butter and toast it in the oven. What I like doing is when I make my garlic butter, I don't just put raw garlic into the butter. Yeah, I heat the butter up a little bit, melt it down, put the garlic in. So you that raw flavor of the garlic sort of uh, you don't you don't get that. So that when you finally eat it, you don't get that raw garlic. Put that on top. I just do a couple. I'm gonna take a little bit of chicken. Sweet, sweet paprika, not even spicy. Fried onions. I don't know if you get store bought fried onions, but you can easily, uh, you know, maybe dehydrate them a little bit, keep them out on top of the oven. If you have a terrace, then even better. Just put it on a big pali, yeah, and then keep it in the sun, and then it dehydrates. And when you fry it, it just fries really, really quick. 